G'day guys and girls. Today we're just gonna change the front speakers in a dual cab 79 series. Should be the same as the single cab in the Troopy in the uh, models, the later models. So, firstly we're gonna remove the 10 mil bolt, that one and that one. That one you don't really need to, but to get the bottom out, a little bit of extra wiggle room. And we'll use some uh, trim removal tools just to pop this unit out here this unit out here and we'll get access to the speaker on this side then we'll go through the other side together so I've just taken those two 10 mils out now I'll get the trim removal tool and we'll move the pop we'll pop the top bit off first starting at the top make your way down pop the top bit out well we'll have a look we should be able to just pop this one out altogether on its own but we'll try it So with the trim removal tool like this one, you just got an auto bun. You just pried, I just pried the top, the sides, and then just once you got your fingers in, you can just pop it down. You just got the bonnet release there, that can just sit there. And then we'll pull these two 10 mil bolts out, holding the speaker in, and then we'll swap it over. So I'll just remove the two 10 mil bolts, and we'll just pull out the speaker. You just have to excuse the one year old in the background. He's having a great time. Um, we've just got these standard Toyota connection and plugs and sockets. So I'll pull that out and what I also got from Audrey Barn was these little adapters. So that should just plug in. That was only $7.50 or something. So it saves you cutting up your factory harness. So we'll pull that off, put that on and we'll see how we go with this kick a speaker, see if it fits alright, or if we need to trim anything. Okay, so young Ted over there chucked a tanty before. But anyway, this is the passenger side. So he took the speaker out of the two 10mm bolts, unplugged it. That's the factory loom again. Now the kicker has the four mounting points. But because of its shape and the skinniness of the dash, I had to just cut them bits off there with my black panther scissors and just give it a little gentle file just to get rid of any sharp edges sorry it's not focusing but it wasn't too hard so now I'll just put this connection on there which is simple and easy nice tight fit as well won't come loose plug it in there and then the two bolts then I'll show you the result so that's the end result they fit in not too bad, they're quite snug which is good. So then the cover will just clip back on, basically like so. In the bottom there you can see the little, that one there goes in that large hole there. And then just work your way up from the bottom. That's it. And to finish it off, these are the tools I used. I'll put a picture of what I used at the start of the video. Uh, 10 mil socket, just an extension. The extension's not really necessary, but helps sometimes. Trim removal tool, they come in a set, pretty cheap. Some black panthers just to cut the uh, little tabs off of the speakers. And a file just to clean up the edges. That's it. Thanks for watching. Okay, so young Ted over there chucked a tanty before but anyway this is the passenger side so he took the speaker out of the two 10 mil bolts unplugged it that's the factory loom again now the kicker has the four mounting points but because of its shape and the skinniness of the dash I had to just cut them bits off there with my black panther scissors and just give a little gentle file just to get rid of any sharp edges Sorry, it's not focusing, but it wasn't too hard. So now I'll just put this connection on there, which is simple and easy. Nice tight fit as well, won't come loose. Plug it in there, and then the two bolts. Then I'll show you the result. So that's the end result. They fit in not too bad, they're quite snug, which is good. 
So then the cover will just clip back on, basically like so. In the bottom there, you can see the little, that one there, goes in that large hole there. And then just work your way up from the bottom. That's it. And to finish it off, these are the tools I used. I'll put a picture of what I used at the start of the video. Uh, 10 mil socket, extension, extension's not really necessary, but helps sometimes. Trim removal tool, they come in a set, pretty cheap. Some black panthers just to cut the uh, little tabs off of the speakers. And a file just to clean up the edges. That's it, thanks for watching.